En, to, tre, fire. Hi, and welcome to a new fly tying uh, episode. Um, I'm going to show you this uh, fry pattern. Um, I really like to have uh, some streamers in my box, and and this uh, looks like uh, I wanted to kind of I have a pattern that looks like a small fry, and and you know in the rivers I really like to go with uh, with uh, some streamers, and uh, that I really like that, and this this works great in in lakes and and rivers, and and it's. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's really tied with the with the nice materials and um, it's a it's a it's a great fly. So mm, I'm sorry I didn't upload any step by steps the last weeks, but I my arm is better. I'm start training again, as I told you in my Q and A. So I'm straight on it, and I have actually fixed my camera. It seems to be working okay. There was something wrong with the focus, and now it looks great. It's not it's not pulsing. So um, yeah, um, for this uh, fly, I'm using the Tiemco 3769 in size eight. That's a 2x heavy hook. And uh, it's a wet fly, and it's a real great hook, sharp and pretty, pretty thick wire. So it works great for a, for a streamer. And I'm using this um, squirrel tail natural fox. It's a nice brown color. Yeah. And we are using seals fur. And, and you know, I got a lot of different types of seals fur. I got this is fluorescent orange. Uh, and it works great when you're fishing in late uh, evening or in the early morning when uh, the sun is just about to come over the trees and you fish this in the river, uh, in the shallows, uh, you know, and the, the fluorescent orange just pops up. So it kind of looks like a small fry, you know, with the egg sack and everything. So it works great. So, yeah. So I use fluorescent orange. You can put in some... Um, I'm actually gonna. Uh, I haven't tried this pattern for gray, grayling. I know the grayling likes to take uh, big flies sometimes, uh, even on streamers. Uh, I know you can catch grayling on spinners and lures. And uh, I'm actually gonna try this this fall for grayling. I really want to catch a grayling on it, and we're gonna try that. So perhaps then I'm gonna tie it with uh, perhaps some purple or the magenta or something. They, the, the grayling really loves those colors, so we'll see, yeah. So that's enough about uh, the seals fur. You can order it uh, in my web shop and I can ship it, ship it for you. And for the body, I'm using a medium uh, flat uh, tinsel. This is from Lagartoon. And I'm using lead. This is a sticky tape, lead, uh, lead tape. They just uh, snipped out a piece. And we're using, yeah, and we're using the squirrel, and we're using the hair mask, and, and we're using the, the cheeks. <laughs> Not the chin, but the cheeks. Thank you, Sean. So, oh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, so we're using this part for, for the front. For, uh, for, uh, for uh, thread, I'm using Unithread uh, uh, Uni 60, I'm sorry. Uni 660, and it, it, uh, it's a um, hot orange color, so yeah. That's it, and we use, I'm using some super glue, and yeah, it's it's quite easy fly to tie. So yeah, okay, shall we start? So here you can see the fly. It's nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. So I'm gonna put it in the box. I got how many more? I'm gonna tie two more, and I got enough in my box. You see, I got them there. I got them. Yep. So let's put in a hook. And actually, you need one of these. This is just a paper uh, stone. Uh, this is from Stumfo, Italy. Cheaper one. This is a clip. But you can use a paper clip if you want. Or the magic tool if you got that. So I'm going to start just by pinching in the barb like that and secure the hook in the vise. I really like this hook. I really like it. Okay, so we're going to start with the, with the lead. I'm gonna see if I have a small piece that I've already used. Doesn't look that way. Okay. Oh, let's let's just clip out a new one. So I'm gonna clip out about two millimeters. A small piece here, you see? Like that. And I'm gonna remove the, um, the tape. And I'm gonna make sure now, this is quite important that when we start here, we got to remember we're gonna tie in some 
uh, squirrel fibers here and we don't want to start there we want to start about there so we got room for the tail and we want to finish off here so we got room for the wing and you know the front so we're gonna start right about there I'm just gonna squeeze it over like that pinch it and I'm gonna go, uh, go forwards and I'm gonna overlap each turn and I'm kind of guiding it with my finger making sure they are nice and neat and strong make sure it's nice and nice and tight I'm gonna take a couple more turns I'm gonna make sure I don't go too far in the front I'm actually gonna snip it off here that's long enough okay stop it there and snip it off leaving a small piece and here we're gonna make a small taper like that just use my finger and we're gonna roll it around and I'm gonna check it that it's nice and not so bumpy. I'm gonna fix a lot of these small ones. We're gonna fix that with with the tying thread. Okay. So make sure it's nice. Like that. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Okay. We're gonna start off with the thread, and we're gonna secure this. So start by tying in the thread, and you're gonna hold the waist straight out, and you're gonna guide the thread all over the lead. I like to do that because we're gonna tie in um, the gold tinsel, you know, and, and we want to make a nice body. So make sure you hold the waist nice and firm and tight. Go all the way down, take your time. Stop right behind the lead that's there and break it off. And we're gonna tie in the tail, okay? So snip out a piece of squirrel fibers and I'm going for the part where it's nice and nice black and round tips. And uh, do not overdress this fly. I mean, that goes for every fly, you know. But uh, it's quite important not to, to make a too big tail and too big wing because it's gonna uh, make the fly, uh, it's gonna, you know, the fly won't, won't move as well in the water. So try not to, to, to overdress it. So snip out a small piece and we're gonna stack it in our stacker. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure there are no fibers or hairs in it. Tips in and tap it on your table. Tap, 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 tap. <laughs> and we're gonna pull out the fibers, pinch them out with our finger, my, with my, uh, my, my, my finger and thumb. And I'm gonna hold, I'm, I'm pinching these and I'm gonna pull out every fiber that's short, okay? So we got a nice, nice tail. And I'm gonna have the same length as the whole hook. Tie it in, take a wrap around there, tighten up and go to down to the barb. It's about there, cross your thread and go up again, like that. Oh yeah, that looks great. Not, don't, don't snip off this yet, okay? We're gonna have that, we're gonna hold in it where we tie up so we don't go around, okay? And we're gonna tie in some gold tinsel, and I like a fairly long piece, so I got control of it. So well, that's I'm gonna just snip out a piece of medium tinsel. You can use large if you got that, or you can use some other type of tinsel. I like the, the, the you know this this medium one. Tie it in at the side. And don't worry if it goes a little bit over. Go down, up, lock it in and check the length. You don't want this to go, oh, see that's a little bit too long. Stop it there because uh, we're gonna have room for a wing and everything, so, so make sure that, okay? Now we're gonna tighten this up, okay? So go forwards, make sure it's nice and touching turns. I'm gonna pull this every other turn because I want this to stay on the top and I make a nice smooth underbody for our tinsel, so like that. And when I'm halfway, I'm gonna snip it off. Up there. That looks great. And now I'm gonna snip it off in a in an angle, in a tapered like that. Okay. There you go. You can see that is gonna help you taper out the rest of the body. Okay. Take your time. Nice and tight. Go all the way. And now I actually like to go all the way down to the hook shank. I'm gonna build up a little bit there. Go 
back again. Here is the part we're going to have the dubbing and I'm going to stop the tinsel there, okay? So now we're going to make our nice gold body. So we're going to start off in the back and you know we got super glue so you can hold it a little bit there before you go forwards perhaps. Make sure it dries up here like that, hold it tight and then you can continue so you don't slide up through it. Nice and turns, makes nice, nice and tight turns. Like that. Oh yeah. And I'm going to finish this off at this side here, holding the copper wire up. And don't pull this, no, the, the, the tinsel, don't pull it down because then it, it sort of kind of cuts your thread because this is real tinsel, you know. So just my GoPro is having a laugh today. Okay, so like that. And just tie it off. Like that, make a couple of secure wraps and then I'm going to snip off leaving a small piece like that and I'm just going to roll it with my finger over like that. It kind of helps, helps it out, taper it out. So tie down and again we're going to go down all the way and then stop there and I'm going to uh, tie in our dubbing. And then I'm using uh, seals for fluorescent. So you, can, you can choose whatever kind of dubbing you want. But I, I kind of like the, the, you know, the, the, the trigger point, yeah. So dub it in and make, a, make sure you make a small dubbing noodle, okay? Don't, don't overdo it. So. I'm tightening up as I go. I like to go up and down. And you know we're going to tie in a wing and we're going to have a split the thread in the front. So now we're making sure we got room for it. That's why the measures are so important. And I'm going to go all the way in the front, pull every fiber back, and take a couple of turns. Like that. And oh yeah. I like this fly. This kind of reminds me of the big hole demon and many other flies, some salmon flies, you know. All of this stuff have been, been done before, so. But I'm just calling it the, the, the truta fry. That's so I can, you know, so if you meet me sometimes, you you know if you tell me, I mean I I tried out tried out the, the, the truta fry and it works great or it doesn't work great or then I know what you're talking about because I'm going to upload a lot of flies and it's okay to have a name on it. So okay, snip out a new piece of uh, of uh, squirrel fibers. They're actually here. So yeah, yeah, okay. So make sure it's not uh, too much. Okay. So like that, nice thin wing and we're gonna stack it in our stacker <laughs> like that pull them out and I like to pull them out so they come out the right way you know like that pinch it hard and pull out any short fibers that's one fiber and we're gonna tie in the wing and you want that to go about there okay right about in the middle past the middle point of the tail, okay? And I'm gonna change my hands, taking a turn, and I'm gonna tie up, you see? I'm going up to the dubbing, tightening up, and I'm gonna check it, and I want to fan it out by, by putting in my, my, my index finger underneath the hook, and I'm gonna roll with my thumb on the top. That's, I often do that on my salmon flies to make a wider wing, so the profile gets bigger, okay? So when you're happy, take one secure wrap and I'm going to go lift this up and I'm going to take a couple of turns in the front. That's just for securing this part. It really helps it. Okay. Almost making a comparador wing there. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to snip off this part. Take our scissors and snip it off. Align with the, with the hook eye. I'm going to clean up, go all the way to the hook eye. Clean up every other stumps and go up there and I'm going to split the thread, okay? So just split the thread. I like just to rub it, you know, to rub the, to, to rub, to rub the, rub the thread like this. Like that, it kind of flats out the thread for me. Rub, 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 like that, and I'm going to get my needle. Where is my needle? I can't see you anywhere. Hey, where are you? 
Why aren't you saying anything? I had you just a few minutes ago. Oh, there you are. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, stuff get lost on my table. Especially now as I'm tying so many flies. I haven't tied flies in, in over a week because of my arm. And now I'm healed up again. I'm, I'm quite excited to start tying again. You know. Split your thread like that. And we're going to pinch out a small, small uh, bundle of, uh, of, uh, of cheek hair, uh, hairs from this part. And, I, and, and I'm actually saying the, the width of your thumb is actually about enough. <laughs> like that, you know. But, but uh, we all got different fingers, so just, just pinch out a small one and it's, it's, it's easier to, to take out, you know, some fibers if it's too much. Okay, so like this, this is too much. And I'm gonna t take out the, the part I don't like and this stuff I'm putting in my coffee grinder, as you know. I use this for dubbing. And I'm gonna use my clip, putting in this way. And I'm actually gonna hold here and I'm gonna try to remove a little bit more of the, the under fur, okay? Because if it gets too much, the fly won't, it won't look good. Try to remove some of that, leaving some, okay? And then we're gonna snip off just a little bit of it because it's about too long. About there, it's the right length, yeah. And we're gonna put this in our splitted thread, okay? I don't want you to follow here. Hey, get off. The seals for wanna join us. <laughs> so put in the fibers like that, and we're gonna, you see, this is compact. We need to slide this one out okay that's very important very very important that you do that okay i can see i got some of the long hairs there too you can see i'm just gonna leave them in this part this is just a small 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 bundle of hair you see not much and i'm gonna pull out my thread holding it tight ah, like that and you can see on the GoPro, I'm, I'm pulling out the thread and I'm, 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 I'm sliding my fingers over like this. You can also spin the bobbin, making sure it's nice and tight. <laughs> and just slide your fingers on the thread and you can see it spins up. It's quite tricky. Oh, come on, help me out there a little bit. And my bobbin got loose and I'm going to spin it all the way down and I'm going to lock it in with my bobbin, okay? <laughs> like that. And I'm gonna lock it in by pulling it in the bobbin like that. And I'm just gonna make a nice head by, by pulling all the fibers back. Kind of makes a front tackle like that. Pull it back. This makes a lot of movement in the water. Yay! And as you can see, if you got the measures right, the fly tying is so much more fun, you know. So be critical, you know, if, you, if you're if tying and you see, oh, that's that's a little bit too far that way or that way, just stop and go back. I mean, yeah. So I'm going to finish off with our whip finish. Nice whip finish. I like to take the whip finish all the way, all the way there and all the way up to that point. Make a nice head. Pull the thread and we're going to snip off our thread like that. And we're going to brush a little bit. Where is my brush? Just brush it a little bit like that. Yay! The truta fry is ready. <laughs> it's just a fry pattern, but you know, I like to put a name on the fly. Not that I, this is not my pattern. It's elements from so many different flies. So, but I, I, I'm gonna put a name on it. So, as I told you, if I meet you sometimes, we, you know what to, we're gonna talk about if you want to kind of talk about some of the flies I tie. I really like the color combination of the gold and brown and orange. That's really a great combination of colors. So there we go. This is the Truta, Truta Fry. It's a fry pattern. A red inger, as we say in Norwegian. You can also, also, it will also work with, uh, as a, in call in Norway, in Norway, we say Örekite. I think it's called RAS or something in English, I don't know.
uh, yeah. So, uh, so there we go. That's that's the kind of the first streamer. So I'm quite excited about that. So, and uh, and yeah. So I, as I told you, I use this in rivers and waters and everywhere. And um, since it's been uh, leaded, you can fish it with floating line or you can f use a sinking tippet. Or uh, I like to use a, a sink one, whole sink one, uh, weight forward line. So yeah. So okay. So thanks for watching and uh, please hit the like button if you like what I'm doing and you know that's that helps me up a lot and, and thanks for all the support and everything about the Tutta Feber it's wow wow I'm so excited and I'm gonna really start up uh, start uploading uh, more uh, tutorials on flies I mean I, of course there are many other flies I, I, sh I should put up I mean I got some a lot of caddis patterns I really need to, to tie, and uh, you know, uh, it's uh, caddis larvas and, and emergers and pupas and all the caddis flies. I really uh, need those, and I'm gonna make some micro nymphs. I really like to fish with the tiny, tiny uh, nymphs, but then I need a new vice, and I got some plans. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 we'll see what happens, but I need a new vice, and I'm, I'm into something. Well, we'll see. <laughs> So, okay, you have a great weekend and thanks a lot to you guys for all the support. I'll talk to you. I'll see you next time. Okay, goodbye.